When Doma was young, he was a boy that might not have even had a name, as he was immediately treated differently from others after his birth. Doma's parents took advantage of the fact that he was born with white hair and rainbow colored eyes as a sign that he was sent from above. So they started a cult in their town that quickly amassed followers despite the fact that Doma himself knew that he'd never heard the voices of gods. Eventually, his parents take each other out in a hateful argument, leaving him to be the leader of the Eternal Paradise cult. But when Doma turns 20, Muzan comes to investigate the group, finding Doma with thousands of skulls that he's dusting and keeping clean to keep his members with him. And Muzan turns Doma into a demon. Doma feels true happiness here for the first time as he gives Muzan the top spot in his group, but it's important to note that Muzan really didn't like Doma at all.
were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. The sages think themselves to be all-knowing, but we alone are wise to the virtue in those acts of folly. In this war, not even a single pawn may be spared. Because on this chessboard, checkmate is not where the game ends. We are gathered here today to remember our dear comrade. In honor of her sacrifice, all work should halt for half a day as the nation mourns her passing. <laughs> Merely half a day? People say the Northland Bank's true currencies are blood and tears. But Mayor, even speaking as a banker, that sounds a little unconscionable. Rosaline died in a foreign land. But you heartless businessmen and dignitaries, always with a convenient excuse to remain in the comfort of your homeland, you couldn't hope to understand. So why don't you keep your mouths shut? We don't want to make the children cry. Hey, come on now. Even I don't think this is the right time or place for a fight. <laughs> Utterly risible. Though her methods tarnished her honor, Loafalta's sacrifice is a great pity. Her loss shall not hinder our progress. But Dottori, what of Scaramouche and the Gnosis from Inazuma? Conventional wisdom holds that divine knowledge cannot be rationally comprehended. After conquering the divine gaze, he will make his next move. It's time to end tonight's foolish theatrics. Right now, you have no captive audience. Let every worthy sacrifice be carved in ice. With this nation, endure for all time. In the name of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, we will seize authority from the gods. Such is the gift from the Tsaritsa, such is Her Majesty's benevolence. Now you rest in this coffin, encased in layer upon layer of ice. Ah, but Rosaline, I promise you, your final resting place will be the entirety of the old world. very young today, Doctor. You know very well that I do not take that as a compliment. So, where's the segment in the prime of his life, then? <laughs> He's busy with a little experiment in blasphemy. <gasps> Colin, time to head out on patrol. Ah, uh, okay, Master Tainari!
this hour of the night. <sighs> ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. And to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the Doctor. If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. The people of Samir City! What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. No! What should we do? These are all just regular people! Leave now! You need to get out of here! But that guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be... the God of Wisdom. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. The Tore may have his classmate in Sumeru Academia. I'm your leafy Lord Shiro Minzif, and I explain the popular theories in the Genshin community. According to records scattered around Sumeru, Il Totori's real name might be Zendik, which is a Zoroastrian term for heretic. The Wise Doctor's Pinion in the Pale Flame Artifact set also uses the term heretic to refer to Il Totori. One of the official constellations for the Fatui Harbingers also resembles a religious symbol for heresy. According to the dissection records, Sore was an academia scholar whose cause of death was asphyxiation. In the ragged attendance record, Ilda Tore may have tried to frame Sore's on Rishbalan tigers. According to her notes, Sore had gone on a date with Zendik, whom she found to be handsome but rigid. It is unknown what drove him to eliminate her, but a likely guess is she may have been a witness to his extremely unethical experiments.
likes to play the hero Barbara, and he's pretty good at it, but it's an act. That man's not about saving the innocent, no, no, he's about punishing the guilty. I'm on the cool with a cutter, yeah, sick of the wild, yeah, ghost, where my brother, yeah. The devil is real. And he's not a little red man with horns and a tail. He can be beautiful. Because he's a fallen angel, and he used to be God's favorite. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
ートには何時に着くんだっけ30分ですね京都の偉い人たちと会いたくないな昨日のお酒美味しかったわ開始。もうすぐ駅に着く。船内で銃撃にあった死体があるから片付けさせて会食は中止東京でも銃撃が牧場さんその血はどこか撃たれましたかこれは返り血私は撃たれなかった再度さっきからシーハンとの連絡が取れないんだあの女三島修造と三島修造
Status quo, but not in letting go. Now the world is being torn apart. A terrible catastrophe played by a symphony. What a terrifying world of art. I can't sit idly, no, I can't move at all. I curse the name, the one behind it all. Que o DJ vai colocar, vai te botar, vai te socar, 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 vai te botar, vai te socar, 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 vai te botar, vai te socar, 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 socar,
Mm -hmm, that's perfect. I'm kind of craving shortcake right now. You can kill people? Yup, it's true. And you know why? Because I'm the second Kira.
is real. And he's not a little red man with horns and a tail. He can be beautiful. Because he's a fallen angel, and he used to be God's favorite. The monster's gone, he's on the run, and your daddy's here. Shoot me, Anna. Then run away. Run away as far as you can for the 
monster can't catch you. Even if I die, you are me, and I am you. Shoot me, Hana, then run away. Even if I die, you are me, and I am you. It's no use. How do you shoot a person who doesn't even exist? Can you see me? 
僕の目に映っているものが見えますか That's what he told me. Only ten years old, and he said that. And he did it with almost no effort at all. He was able to make fifty people kill each other. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. You cannot change. You will always be a monster. Next on our program is a message from the Dean of.
tonight at a local pizzeria where five children who were attending a birthday event suddenly and mysteriously vanished into thin air. It's not just their ghosts that are inside of those machines. It's their bodies. He took everything from them that they don't remember. Who? Oh, His name is William Afton. The story of FNAF really boils down to the story of one man, William Afton. But, you know, it's just a theory. For most of you, I believe there is peace and perhaps more waiting for you after the smoke clears. Although, for one of you... The darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. <laughs> Always come back. Killer Queen, Dai San no Bakudan no Switch mo sude ni sadou shiteiru. Killer Queen, Dai San no Bakudan, Baita Dust. Chia Heart Attack.
as the suit still goes off by itself. Thank you. If you want a free token, give it a big old speech of the devil. <laughs> I hate you. I've always hated you. I'm going to kill you. And I'm going to make it hurt. I'm going to get out. And I'm going to find you. And I'll give you a real reason to cry. Thousands of comrades and tens of thousands of enemies. You're the only one who made me forget my dream. I sacrifice. If there is one thing I can do for them, it is to win and keep winning until I attain my dream. My dream is already smeared with blood. I don't regret, I don't feel guilty, but I'd rather sacrifice myself than watch any more innocent children die in the name of my dream. than you guys think. It's not my fault. It isn't like I asked to be a woman. I hate this.
O rei de Midland ordenou que o Griffith fosse torturado por esse maníaco aqui. E durante um ano, ele teve seus tendões das mãos e pernas cortados. Seu corpo inteiro foi esfolado e suas unhas das mãos e pés arrancadas sempre que cresciam novamente, queimado todos os dias com ferro quente e água fervente. Também teve seu rosto desfigurado e sua língua cortada. A sua tortura só tinha pausa quando ele precisava comer ou dormir. Mas...
Children die. But Adam, if you walked down those stairs, you'd be joining her. And if by some miracle you come back out, I don't think you'd be yourself. If I died, let it go, would you miss me? All I taste is blood in my tears when you kiss me. Kill me! Heroes have moral codes! Who said I was a hero of this? Esse é o falso salvador, e ele já conseguiu nos enganar, impedindo o nascimento de Jesus Cristo. E como vimos no episódio anterior, agora temos que lidar com alternativos, que é basicamente uma pessoa idêntica a você. O problema é que ela vai tentar tirar a sua vida, ou melhor, ele vai fazer com que você mesmo faça isso. Mas vamos entender melhor como o falso salvador impediu o nascimento de Jesus. Lembrando que isso aqui é um ARG chamado The Mandela Catalog, ou seja, é fictício. A fita inicia e podemos perceber que se trata de um desenho bíblico, onde alguns pastores recebem a visita do anjo Gabriel, que veio dar a boa notícia do nascimento de Cristo. Lying in a manger. O problema é que a fita trava. Se prepara que a partir daqui as coisas vão ficar bem ruins. Primeiro que uma voz distorcida começa a narrar. E é a partir daqui que ele vai dar a notícia. Só que dessa vez não é o anjo Gabriel. E sim o falso salvador. I am the angel Gabriel. I've come to bring good news. News? For me? Whatever God wants, I will do. Dessa vez, diferente do início da fita, o céu escurece. Pois ali já não é mais o anjo Gabriel, e sim o falso salvador, que veio dar as notícias. Do not be afraid, my dear shepherds.
O plano do falso salvador deu certo. Ele... Don't be afraid. I am the angel Gabriel. Wake up, Joseph. I am your true saint. I know what you love. I know what you dread. Wake up, wake up. Voice needs to take you. My you've already done all of my bidding for me. <laughs>